All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. So we got another Bubble Buds video. This is gonna be the last one of three. Today's video, we're gonna give you guys some tips and tricks in your games as well. Talk about the matchmaking. But before we continue on with these videos, give a huge shout out to AVI Games for sponsoring these videos. And if you wanna support the channel or download the game, click the link in the description down below. Really would appreciate it. So like I mentioned in my previous videos, the cool thing about this game is that the matchmaking is always against real people. You don't have to worry about playing against bots. And not only that, you'll be playing against the same board. So every time you're playing against someone else, every Every bubble will be the exact same. So the one thing you're fighting for is speed and time, but also you're trying to clear the board. So that becomes a very cool feature in this game. So that way, when you're fighting against other people, it's not luck based, it's very much about your timing and what balls you pop. So we're gonna hop into a game. I'm gonna try my best to give you guys some tips and tricks while we are playing. But the main thing you wanna focus on is speed and efficiency. All right, so as you guys can see, we're gonna be trying our best to try to launch the top part off, but you can see I'm gonna go for the green here. So you really wanna maybe focus on one side so that you can potentially knock off multiple balls. You wanna bounce sometimes so that you can get full advantage, but also you wanna sometimes use those balls that can bounce off. So right now I'm trying my best to get a yellow. You can also use your bombs. The bombs are gonna be very useful because you're gonna get rid of a whole section there. So usually try to go as fast as you can, try to get some of those ones on the sides as soon as you can, but that's really the main focus here. And again, don't forget to rotate through the balls because once you get the rotation of the balls, it becomes a super useful and you can get rid of some of the other stuff on top. Again, right now with this rainbow ball, it's going to be perfect. You just got to make sure you bounce it as well. So we're going to try to bounce it all the way there. Perfect. Oh, wait, I accidentally. Okay, so I touched the screen here. Boom, there. Now we're just trying to get a red or yellow ball. The yellow ball, we're just going to throw it over here. We're going to get the orange ball all the way back. So you see, try to get as much as we can erase this section here. Now, sometimes you're going to get double green balls and that's just that's just the way it is. Now we're going to get the red here and get rid of that. Throw some blue. You can try to also get some corner and bounce it all the way in. But that's just, you know, takes practice with that. But again, bouncing is useful sometimes. But the main thing you want to do is try to be as fast as you can. Get rid of some of the stuff in the back end and then try to focus and remove a bunch of stuff. So like this green here, let's try to pop it over here and then get this yellow all the way here. That was actually an orange. So if I can actually get rid of the yellow all the way up there, that's going to be huge, beautiful play there. And then we get the purple bounce all the way down there. That's going to knock off a huge second here. Then TNT is going to be absolutely huge here. We probably should save the TNT, but if we can get fever time, that's actually going to be very useful. When you want fever time, you just want to bounce as much as you can. Take full advantage of everything here. Pop that there. And then the red should be able to take off the red here. Now, we got a minute left. Again, we want to go as fast as you can. But right here, we went pretty fast. We had a minute. It's kind of hard to focus at the same time as talking. But to take full advantage, make sure you use the items. Make sure to rotate. So let's try this again. So while we're playing, just like to mention that cheating is definitely not permitted. If you guys ever suspect anybody of cheating, you know, just go ahead and report them. Uh, again, don't be afraid to actually throw any of the balls out because getting the balls out, although it might not be the same color, if you're running the same way as I'm playing, it's just to eliminate them, they will just eventually fall off, right? So you can see, like, I'm gonna be throwing some balls here and then you can see, you can actually try to get the bounces here, try to get the multiples. But ultimately, the main thing you're trying to do is try to get the interior. And with the interior, you should be able to break some of the stuff here. Like you can see, I'm gonna go inside with the bouncing technique, drop some of those inside, and then we drop the yellow in here, right? And then boom. And then with this rainbow one, we should be able to get a couple of them, boom, whole entire section. Again, do not be afraid to knock these out, right? Just knock them out, throw whatever you can. Sometimes it's not gonna fit right there and sometimes you'll just have unlucky streaks. But if you get into a good streak, get that nice bounce, you should be able to eliminate a bunch of these. And again, the more practice you do, the better this is gonna get. But again, like I said, don't be afraid just to throw some of the balls out there just so you can at least get, you know, eliminations here and then kind of keep an eye out what you have on top, right? I had a blue there, so I, I should have probably played the blue there just to save it for later. And then I don't know if this is going to reach because if I can get a nice blue ball, it should eliminate a couple of them on top there and then the yellow here and then the boom, the red. Bang. We finished that pretty fast. A minute and 40 seconds. So we got that pretty pretty fast, to be honest, and we should be able to get the 50,000 points. Not my all-time best, but the best we got today, so that's actually pretty sick. So just to prove to you guys, just because you have a lower score, so I have 32,000, doesn't mean you're gonna lose. I got 32,000, I still got the first place finish. That's because some of the board might be harder than other ones, and as long as you succeed and do it faster, you can actually do pretty well with this. So you can see right there. And also to show you guys, on the other hand, look, we got 50,000 points, but we're only third place. 
So just because you have a high number doesn't mean you're going to guaranteed win. And just because you have a lower number doesn't mean you're guaranteed to lose. So that makes the matchmaking very balanced in this game. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Hopefully this video helped you guys with some tips and tricks for you guys to win in the game. If you do want to support the channel or try out the game, make sure to click the link in the description down below. We will be back with the eight ball version of this game, which um, I'm actually a big fan of. I actually really like that, but that's going to be a little bit later on. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.